Hello! Welcome back to the shop. Today we have something kind of interesting. We have a Klein multi nut driver. Now these are super interesting because and there's a few variants of these things. Uh, the Klein had some others and uh, I happen to have an Irwin one here in the shop that uh, has multiple tips kind of along the same idea the Irwin has one thing that these Kleins don't have which we'll get into then maybe so let's get this thing cracked open because they went after a few interesting things on this that uh, none of the previous versions had okay so we got everything opened up here and this is a 7-in-1 uh, nut driver and this is impact rated so that's kind of unique so if you look here this is got your standard impact tool divot and you can put this right on an impact gun which is really handy and I'm glad they thought of this because most times guys adapt stuff to impact guns anyway so it's good that this has got impact guns in mind now let's take a look here at these um, you can see that's like a kind of a hex with sort of reliefs in it. Oh, that one does not have that. Okay. So I guess that's maybe the quarter inch one is the only one with that. I see. Okay. So the keen, I guess, is what stops this from going further. You can see that stops. You can see the magnet here on the tip and the keen I believe is what stops this from sliding up here so if you're pushing on this you don't get it completely up in same here okay and then to get these off the the additional sockets you have to take them off towards the back end here so then this is going to be keyed yeah and that has the the magnet kinda about where you would want it not necessarily exactly but actually at a decent spot let's put the 3 8 on that's a common one for stuff pretty nice actually and one more here the 7 16 there you go you can see that magnets kinda at a spot where it'll grab things and one nice thing about this is you can clean the magnet off I know Milwaukee has some out like this now too, probably DeWalt does as well. But that has always been the problem with this style tip. The ones with the integral magnet in the socket head. That you drop it, it just gets full of metal. So it's kind of nice you can clean that off. So looking at this here, you can see these splines right here. And that's what engages those unique sockets and then you have a detent here and a detent here and a detent here and I believe that's what captures these tools or the sockets and I'm just looking in the socket here I don't see there's got to be a friction ring in there or something like that because that slides on and you can see that detents just like that it's held in place feels like there's a friction ring in there and there must be because you can see this spring on the outside of the socket Let's see they all have it yeah they all have it so there's got to be some sort of friction ring in there so that's kind of neat but you can put any of them at any location on the tool so that's kind of cool now I will say one thing that I don't like is it does not have, like this old Irwin, an 1132nd. Uh, you might say, why do I need 1132nd? Well, 832 fasteners utilize an 1132nd nut. So not having that is kind of a bummer. Um, and you can see this one is kind of like a different buildable shenanigans. But that was an early multi-nut driver that I had gotten years ago, made by Irwin. I also have one of the bigger Klein ones. It's kind of like a, a huge thing, but I don't, don't have that here right now. So 
this is a nicer, more compact variant. I kind of wish there was a version with um, maybe a 3 8 an 11 32nd, a 7 16th, and a 9 16th. Because in the, at least in the electrical trades, half inch isn't commonly used. Half inch being the common uh, size fastener for 5 16th. That's normally what you use with that. You don't have a lot of half inch that you use, so. I feel like the 1132nd in this would be more useful because 832s are pretty prolific in uh, electrical devices. But anyway, let's keep looking at this. And this tool here has this ball detent, and that basically is this is a handheld version of your standard impact chuck. That's really what this is, but it appears as though this is a hollow handle. So I'm curious to see how far up this will go. It does not go very far. So I was wondering if this would go way up into the handle, but it does not appear to. So that appears to be what you get. Now if you wanted to be all kind of sleek, you could go like that. They stay on pretty good, I'll say that too. It, it takes some force to pull it off, so I don't think you would lose these with, uh, you know, just normal use, taking them off of fasteners. So that's interesting. I, I kind of like it. I'm going to throw it in rotation at work and see if there's any idiosyncrasies that are annoying. If I remember, we'll, we'll do a follow-up video on it. Uh, let's see here. Let's just look at the back here and see if there's any things that stick out. This is made in Taiwan, it's not made in US. Just for those of you that like to know those things. Uh, the impact rated is the big thing on this and it's it's pretty modular. I don't see anything that's really profound in the uh, in the notage here. They outline the socket sizes uh, which we went over and that it's impact rated. So that's that's kind of handy. but other than that this is a much more compact variant of the nut driver so I kinda like it we'll see how it holds up and what exactly you know the little chinks in the armor were as it you know to say let's uh, get this all put back together so we can see what it kinda looks like we'll put the quarter on it and we'll put it just like that and that's what it looks like all together now this if you're in a tight area you would want to take these off like if you're just have enough clearance for whatever this is and you don't want to be getting these into stuff you'd have to play around with it a little bit but I think Klein also has stubby versions that these probably go on I'll look into that a little bit more they followed the fairly common color code for red for quarter inch, uh, yellow 5 16ths, blue 3 eighths, brown 7 16ths, red for half again, and orange for 9 16ths. Missing is the green for 11 32nd. And I think 5 eighths is pink, but 5 eighths nut drivers aren't all that common. So either way, this is pretty compact, really, if you look at it. Uh, do I have a normal nut driver here? Let's see. Oh, I happen to have a 9 16th nut driver. So this is the, I guess this is the, the orange 5 eighths is yellow. So 5 16 and 5 eighths are yellow, if you really wanted to know. But looking at profiles, if you're going for the 9 16 you're not really losing much. This is very much, very similar in size. Now if you go to 5 16 here's a Klein 5 16 Now you're talking the nut drivers get significantly smaller. But you get the versatility, and if you're crammed in a spot, this one happens to have the magnet in it. If you're crammed in a spot, you get these out. It's just what it is. It, any of these tools are kind of a compromise. You're going for some sort of a multi-use tool and with those sorts of things there's always compromise. 
So it's a little bit more, slightly more bulky, but not as bulky as previous versions of multi-nut drivers. So I really like this. I think it'll pocket relatively well. I'm not afraid of the tips getting lost. They seem to hold on relatively decent. So overall, I'd call this thing a win. If you're looking for a multi-nut driver, this might be something to give a go. And if you do give one a go, or you have one, let me know in the comments there we go, below, and uh, let me know what you think of them. Maybe these things do wear and start falling off easy at some point. I don't know. I've not used one a lot, so I'm keen to find out, and if you have anything with them, let me know. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.